guys, what the fuck six back one of a uh, another uh, blind person tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to cook uh, macaroni cheese in the uh, slow cooker here. So um show you all the ingredients we've got. We've got uh, some grated cheese, we got us uh, some uh, penne pasta. Uh, you can use macaroni if you want, but I find some uh, penne, it should taste nicer. And we've got our uh, evaporated milk here, which we use for the uh to basically make the uh, creamy cheese, creamy sauce basically. And then, um, where's my mug? Real quick. Uh, we've got one here because we also need uh, two cups of water. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to turn on the uh, talking scales. Zero. Just make sure it's the right amount of bowl. So the bowl weighs 220 grams. grams. There it goes. Zero. We're going to put 200 grams Zero. of grated cheese. Dude, you're an idiot. You just put it on the worktop. Oh, that's a great. I need something to hang you on to. But, uh, hang on. Just realize I've got glass. Where's oh, it gonna work? Yeah. Nah, it's not gonna work. Hang on. Okay, let me try and. Um, do this again, guys, real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, we can do it with this hand. Zero. Okay, I know you're zero because I haven't put barely anything in yet. Okay. I just about to use my iPad for this very well. So I know I can just clean up afterwards. It's not the end of the world. Zero. Zero. Yeah, I think I need a new battery for these as well. So the greatest, because thinking that, because if you guys don't know when it makes that noise, it means it's a got a low battery. I think. Zero. I did the first time. One hundred and five grams. One hundred and twenty five grams. One hundred and twenty five grams. One hundred and thirty five grams. One hundred and fifty grams. Ninety 
grams. 195 grams. Greater cheese over the locked up now, guys. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, clean that up once I finish this video. But, uh, 210. Showing up for a minute, okay. Let's put our uh, grated cheese in the slow cooker. until we get the lid off. Yeah. 
So I'll just turn open it does, guys. It basically, um, or it does, it will, uh, as you can see with the, uh, the lid, it uh, holds the lid in the tong part, and then you can put it in the bin and release the tongs that goes in the bin. Like you can yourself, it's so nice. Where can the RNRB? About five pounds. Okay, and then we need to pour our evaporated milk into the yeah. slow cooking. Straight up, should be ridiculous. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to uh, turn on the tap here. the slow cooker and then i have to um because my fridge um guys here has to be used for an extension lead i've got to unplug the kettle here and then we grab the hello little sal oops it's a mess of guys i swear to god all right, plug in the slow cooker. I don't think our oven's better, guys, but well. Okay, and then we want to put our slow cooker onto high heat. And the way you can tell is that um, it makes a click for every sound. So you want to do one click, and one click for low heat, and a second click for, for high heat. Okay, and then uh, we'll do it. Set a time for two hours on my watch. Set a timer for two hours. And there we go. So uh, it's now uh, 12 past 5. So that means my uh, mac and cheese will be finished at uh, 12 minutes past 7. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this blind passing tutorial, guys. And uh, I'm going to tidy up now. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and goodbye. <laughs>